In this video, I'm just going to quickly show you how to um, grant access to your campaign manager. And there are two main things you need to do, and most people only do one, which gets really confusing. So the first one is in campaign manager itself. And if you go into sign into campaign manager, then go up here to your account name, click on that and go down to manage access. And then here you can give other people access. So if you click edit, add user to account, and you can just type in the name of a person, for example, Philip Illich, which is me. Um, and just give them access. And there are different types of access you can give them, which are here. So if we go to LinkedIn here, um, the account manager is like the top level. They can do pretty much everything. They can view campaigns, data and reports. They can create new campaigns, edit existing campaigns, manage user access to the account, edit account details, and can view the account billing history, but they're not a billing admin. But this is the one, if you're giving a someone like me, a LinkedIn ads person or professional access to do the ads for you, I would always give that person an account manager role or if someone internally in your company, give them account manager, they need that role pretty much. Um, campaign manager can view campaigns, create new campaigns, edit existing, can view account billing history. Um, so the only different one is, to be fair, campaign manager actually does everything that the person needs to do. The only thing that they don't need that they don't have access to do user access. Um, so yeah, actually you can just give that person campaign manager role rather than account manager, which is the highest level. Then you have the creative manager, which can only view, edit, and see the billing history. So they can't actually set up new campaigns. So that's a bit of a random one. I don't think you will need to use that very often. Then you have viewer, basically they can just view everything, but they can't actually edit or do anything. And finally you have the billing admin, and this should be reserved for the, you know, the owner of the account, the you know, top level person, because this is the person who has access over the billing, the credit card, um, and that kind of stuff. So you don't need to assign anyone else to billing admin, just keep that to yourself, or maybe the head of the accounts department or whoever that is. So that's that. So yeah, the first thing is to give that person access here. The second thing you need to actually do if they want to have access to um, doing lead generation forms and post sponsored content and stuff like that is go to your company page and then here you're going to see admin tools. So LinkedIn is trying to do something like that Facebook does already, which is have kind of like a business manager type thing. So it's bringing this stuff out slowly at the moment. It's just bringing, it's got some new stuff it's got. So it's got manage admins here, go down to manage admins. And if you see here, paid media admins and add that person to, to become a paid media admin just by typing in their name and you can add them there. And preferably you also add them as a page, ad, page admin as well. Then they're going to have full access to do lead gen forms and write the posts and all this kind of stuff, which is going to be, you know, everything they need to have full access. So yeah, I hope this was helpful. Definitely subscribe and see you guys soon.